How y'all doing today? This is Kyle with Boots on the Ground. I'm here to do another review. Today we are going to be looking at the Red Wing Blacksmith by the Red Wing Shoe Company in the Heritage line. Um, I decided on the leather color to get the 3345, which is the Black Prairie leather. And um, let's go ahead and take a look at them. These are the bad boys right here. And with any of the Red Wing Heritage line, you get the little car that says they've been hand inspected by so-and-so. And, -so. and uh, unlike the Iron Rangers, these are $30 less. Let's see, they're $2.99 and with tax, they're $3.20. And so they're just a little bit less, but they're, they're definitely not cheap by any means. So let's see what you get for the money. So with the Black Prairie leather, what it is, is it's an oil tan leather, and it is uh, got a black finish on top. It's, uh, I want to say it's kind of painted in, and underneath it has the natural color of the leather. And so what happens is, is these wear out over time on the patina, you will see that natural color come through, which looks pretty cool. Um, let's see, I'll show you. The shoe trees out so you can see that the inside of the leather is like that kind of brown color and first off I think it's a really good looking boot you got the contrast on the welt here and uh, the hardware you got the brass eyelets and you got you know four eyelets and three speed hooks and they're brass so it's a little bit dressier than the Iron Ranger uh, the, the laces are waxed um, they're more flat than they are round and uh, they look pretty good. As far as my opinion goes, I think these boots are a little bit dressier than the Iron Ranger. Clearly, they don't have the toe cap. Um, and then on the back of the boot, this right here is uh, capped, uh, kind of gloved. And on the heel counter, it's not as prominent. Um, I can kind of show you here. This would be the Iron Ranger. So you got the toe cap, the um, hardware is nickel instead of brass so not as dressy and then the back you know you can see this is kind of raw and unfinished and then on the hill counter you can see the difference here um, I believe the hill stack too on the Iron Ranger is a little bit taller than it is on the blacksmith and uh, this also extends a little bit higher and so you can you know see the differences they, they both use the same sole and that's the Vibram 430 Mini Lug Sole. And uh, the thing is with the blacksmith is you can get it in a few more different colors than you can the Iron Ranger. Uh, the colors you can get on the blacksmith, you can get the Black Prairie, which is these, uh, the Copper Rough and Tough. You can get that on the Iron Ranger, but you can get the Briar Oil Slick and the blacksmith. And um, that would look really good with a suit um, you could actually wear these with a suit too. The other day I uh, polished them up and put the leather conditioner on them from Red Wing. Normally I use Big Four, but on the black leather you're not worried about darkening it because it looks good. It gave them kind of a, a wet look for a day. As you can see, they're back to the matte finish, but if you were going to wear them with a suit, you could just put that on them. They'd last for a day and they look really sharp. Um, when, the, when they're in this uh, kind of matte finish, uh, they really look good with like khakis and chinos and stuff like that. So uh, great looking boot and uh, Same thing with the Iron Ranger. They're, tr they're triple stitched on the vamp here and um, Actually, I believe they're double stitched right here on the hill counter To where the Iron Ranger is triple stitched. I'm sure that'll hold up fine though. No big deal and on the hill counter it's double stitched up through here and double stitched up through here um, as far as comfortability goes, they're very comfortable. Um, I believe that the break-in was about the same as the Iron Rangers. It wasn't too bad, maybe a week. It's funny because I bought the floor model and the one that they had as the floor model was more comfortable than the other one that came in the box. But after uh, wearing those, uh, walking around the park or whatnot, I broke the boots in within a day. So now they both fit good. 
Um, the difference is too on the sizing. I got these in an eight and a half compared to the Iron Wrencher. I got those in a nine. I believe these fit a little bit different. Um, the toe is kind of bulbous too. You have a lot of room in the toe. And uh, the thing is, if you get them in the nines, I think the toe without the toe cap looks even more bulbous when you look down on them. And it, it, it's tight through here where you want it to be tight. So it's no issue. And uh, these actually size a little bit different than the Iron Rangers. I believe the Iron Rangers you can get from a six through a 14 and a D or a double E. As the blacksmith, you can get um, from a seven to a 13 and only in a D. So you people with extra wide foot or just out of luck, maybe you'll go a size higher to try to make up for that. But as far as the construction goes, they're 270 degree Goodyear welt and uh, they don't go all the way around the back so you can replace the hill counter pretty easily. And um, the sole, and I believe in 2018, they went from the nitro cork to the Viber mini sole, so it's real oil resistant, real slip resistant, and that's a good thing. You don't notice it from the side, it's still got a low profile. Um, I believe that these are um, a direct um, answer to Wolverine's 1,000 miles. Um, they look very similar. Of course, Wolverine uses the, I believe it's Chrome XL that everybody loves. That leather to me, though, scuffs up a little bit too easy. It looks good, looks dressy, but I like the leather on the Red Wing shoes. Um, they actually use their own tannery, SB Foot Tannery, in Minnesota for all their Heritage Line boots. And the leather's real thick and, and hardy, and they look like they would last a long time. You hear about people resoling these and the Iron Rangers and making them last 5, 10, 20 years because um, as the leather wears it kind of tells a story of you and how it looks especially when the browns start coming through. I think on one of these, let's see here, yeah it's not doing it yet. You can see it in the light but you can see the brown coming through. Um, but yeah it's a full grain leather and um, yeah that's the the Red Wing Blacksmiths right there. They're real similar to the Iron Ranger. To me, they're just a little bit more dressy. And like I said, if, you know, especially if you get the briar slick color, the reddish color, you could wear those with a suit. And uh, it's basically an Iron Ranger without a toe cap. And so, and $30 less. So I think it's a great option for somebody looking for a little bit more of a dressy boot. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you like what you're saying and like these boot reviews, be sure to subscribe and like, and uh, I'll post some more content. We'll do a few more reviews on some other boots. I got a ton of boots. I got some hunting boots, uh, Timberlands, casual boots, yeah, work boots, and I'll be doing a bunch of reviews on all the different ones. Uh, so be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.